Hi, I'm Rumbi. I'm 35. I quit my job and I'm starting from the bottom all over again. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. What? What? Started from the bottom. Though technically, if I've just started, I'm still at the bottom and I'm not here, as Drake says. Let me take it back. I guess I always thought in my life I could do anything and be anything and anyone would know as you grow older those ideas about yourself really change quite drastically. Um, I was very self-confident. I took part in plays. I performed. I was on stage. I wasn't afraid of too much and then I guess along the way life throws curveballs and you start listening a little more to outside voices and listening a lot less to yourself and I think I found myself there anyone who knows as a Zimbabwean child an African child an immigrant you know that the pressure is on and a lot of who we are is tied to what we do what we are able to accomplish with our grades academically where we work what we're able to do who we end up with so on and so forth. And I think I've always prided myself in being an individual, but it definitely rubbed off. There were a lot of elements of that that I kind of picked up along the way. And so for me, performance was always of the utmost importance. I needed to outwork, outdo, even if it didn't feel right, even if I was hitting a brick wall, even if things were hard, I always needed to show up and try and make it right. And I'll be honest, I definitely suffer from hyper-functioning anxiety. I'm a perfectionist. Where the perfectionists at? Holla. Holla at your girl. Um, Controlling. I struggle with a lot of these elements. And I think part of that trait I've developed is to fight to make things work because then ultimately I get to say, look, if I work really hard at something, I can do it. And I think there's a place and time for that, but sometimes it doesn't serve you. I've learned that life is not a meritocracy. And as much as I worked hard and pushed myself incredibly hard to do and be and succeed in the way that I thought I was supposed to succeed, it doesn't pay off. So I guess this year, life threw a whole bunch of curved balls my way. And I found myself, I couldn't take it anymore. And ultimately, I wasn't listening to myself anymore. And there was a great and a grave danger in that. I woke up one day and I was like, what do you like? What do you enjoy? And I know on a surface level what I like and what I enjoy, but I'd lost touch with myself. And so I made a very difficult decision to quit my job. Because as I said, I'm a performer. I do things because I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to work hard. You're not supposed to give up. You're supposed to keep hustling and fighting and trying and doing and doing and doing and doing and nonstop. But doing wasn't doing anything for me anymore. And I needed to spend some time with myself. What does it feel like to just be? And that, that is very hard. So I've embarked on this journey and I'm going to bring you along for some of it. I guess I'm sharing this journey because I don't believe I'm the only one out there who's struggling to figure out who they are and what their dreams really look like, what they enjoy, who they want to be. I'm just here to say there's no need to live a life that you don't want to live or that you're not excited about or happy about when you get up in the morning. There's no need to live a life just because you're supposed to. There's no need to kill yourself to fit a mold. Though it's scary and daunting, one of the hardest times of my life, I want to, I choose to try and embrace it with excitement that yes, though I've started from the bottom, it's gonna be a good ride. And we'll get where we're going. So 
I've started again. And that's something, right? <laughs>